You know, I was fortunate enough to be roommates with Danny Sermon. He, uh, we didn't really know each other as junior golfers, but we became good friends during our college career. Lived together for the first three years of college, and uh, he really, really, really started the transition to what UNF golf is now. He, he had the opportunity to probably go to some larger schools, whether it be in Florida, Florida State, but chose UNF and the vision that Coach Brooks had for the program back then. And um, through his success as a player, that really started the, the trend of have, finding other good players down the road. You know, as a we made that transition as a D2 program. I believe it was his first two years, and then a Division One program, maybe his last two years. And that was a, some great times back then, with all the guys getting together and playing, uh, practicing, and playing out at TBC, and just a, a great group of guys that we were able to be a part of. That uh, he helped lead to, to some great things. You know, unfortunately, I don't, I don't have the hair, I don't have the the speed, or I don't have the the slowness or the professionals. I, a buddy of mine was kidding though. If you look in the program, you look at my tie, you're like, are you wearing the same tie from 1994? But I can assure you it's not the same tie from 1994. So I just wanted to clear that up first. Um, but no, I, I just want to, uh, again, echo some thoughts and thank, um, thank everybody. Thank Coach Moon for being a part of this, uh, this ceremony. This is an absolute honor. I'd like to congratulate my fellow inductees. Uh, this is just a, a really cool honor, um, one, to be recognized, but two, to just be able to share this uh, with everybody here. Um, I'd like to thank my mom and my sister who were able to make it, um, my teammates that are able to be here as well. We're going to talk a little bit more about that. Um, but just this, this has meant so much to me, and uh, it's just been an absolutely awesome experience being an Osprey. And I, I thought I'd share... You know, I know um, Coach Schroeder said some stuff about when we were transitioning the program from Division II to Division I. I really didn't think I was going to be an Osprey. I remember I started getting recruited by Coach Brooks um, as a junior golfer and had an offer from a school who we won't name. It's west on I-10. Uh, we'll just leave them nameless. But in, uh, in January of 1993, I was at the national championship game that they played in football where they beat Nebraska, and I was – I'm going to I'm going to that school. There's no way I'm not going. This is absolutely I've got an opportunity to play golf there. That's where I'm going. And there was something that kept drawing me back to Jacksonville and UNF and just the program, the people. And thank God I made that decision made the right decision and decided to be an Osprey because it, it was the absolute best experience in my life. And you know, the um, the players that came before us, um, you know, there's some folks here to, uh, this morning that are here that were here before me. The guys that practiced at Selva Marina, the guys that went out and picked their own golf balls, that helped lay the groundwork for the team that we became. Um, you know, the teams before us won the NAI championship by like 55 shots. I mean, that's unheard of. Um, they just did, they accomplished amazing things, and, and we were proud to be able to continue that legacy. The one thing that still bugs me to this day is that we weren't able to win a national championship in Division II. My junior year, which was our last year of Division II, we were the number one ranked team the entire year. We had a two shot lead, I think, with three holes to go in the national championships and we got steamrolled by uh, Columbus State and that still bothers me to this day and it bothered me that day and such that uh, my putter didn't make it back to uh, in one piece uh, back to Jacksonville after the national championships but um, but it was just an amazing experience and the teammates that we had were just so unbelievable again I, I do want to take a, a special minute to thank coach Schroeder um, my roommate my friend just uh, I mean, he's done an unbelievable job with the program and, and taking it to a new heights that, that um, I, I've, I, was, I was just so amazed to see and just am so happy as the team continues to progress. And the other one that I just want to thank as well, and unfortunately he wasn't able to be here, was Coach John Brooks. Um, you know, my mom had found an article uh, where he had started the program back in, I think it was 89. And for those of you that haven't had a chance to work with or know Coach Brooks, I was an assistant for a couple of years with him while I was getting my master's degree. Probably one of the best business person, one of the best businessmen that you'll get a chance to know. And, and the program that he created, the resources that we had as a team is what absolutely made us um, one of the forces to be reckoned with. You know, we remember it was kind of a joke. We'd show up to a, a golf tournament, a Division One tournament. And one of our boosters that Coach had been able to uh, work with would take us in one of the Madden-style buses. And we're just a little Division II program showing up, and the guy's cooking steaks out there. And they're like, who are you guys? <laughs> and so he just did an amazing job of giving us resources and giving us things that, you know, large Division I programs um, had. And so I know you guys continue to do great things. Schroeder, you continue to do great things with the program, with the resources you guys have. And it's fun to continue to watch everyone continue to be successful. Um, 
the one thing that I just would like to, you know, expound upon a little bit on is my time at UNF is just the teammates. Um, growing up, I never had a brother. And when I got here, the guys that um, the guys that took me under their wing and helped me are just guys that we can we still continue to stay in touch today. And it's one of the coolest things in that. And I tell folks um, living in San Antonio, Texas, I work, I do some uh, uh, volunteer work with the uh, UTSA, which is Texas San Antonio golf team. And I tell those guys all the time, I said, don't get in a hurry to get out in the work world because enjoy the time with your teammates. Enjoy your time as an intercollegiate athletics. It is one of the most enjoyable and, and fun times that you'll ever have as a student. And so I'm just so thankful for all those guys that supported me. And, you know, I was, th I was thinking about this. The individual accolades are, are absolutely fantastic, and I'm, I'm so grateful that I, could, that I could achieve those. But what my one hope is is that I was able to be a good teammate and to make everybody on my team better. And if I did that, then I believe that this, I'm worthy of this award. But I really want to make sure that, that I hope I was a good teammate to everybody else and made them better because if that's the case, well, golf is an individual sport. In the college level, it's a team sport. And it's very hard sometimes to blend those two together. And so I hope that I can say that all the guys that I was, a, I was a teammates with, I helped make you better because I know you guys made me better. And for that, I'll be forever thankful. Um, and so in closing, I want to I share one thing, and that's um, – Sports is, is such an amazing uh, avenue to be able to bring people together. You know, those of us that are here tonight, the fellow inductees bring their families here. And if you think back when you started in as a, uh, as a kid um, playing sports, your parents were there supporting you or your brother came out and watched. You know, I remember as my sister going to her soccer games as a kid in high school and supporting them. And so our families really rally around each other with sports. And it's something that all of us use and, and are, are able to you know, bring people together. It's something where all of us have um, family members to thank. You know, my mom dropping me off at the golf course, my dad helping me with this or that. It's just such an amazing thing to be able to participate in sports and to have family members be there to support you. We're fortunate that we have a university and teammates to support us as well. And so, you know, that drawing together is something that's always so special. And um, to share, when um, August of 2014, I was, I was uh, living in San Antonio, and I was in town. Uh, my father had a heart attack and ultimately ended up passing away about a week later. And when I was in town, um, Scott Schroeder wanted me to get together with him for lunch. And, uh, and I was like, okay, sure, I'll come up. And Mr. Haight was there, and um, you know, they were asking me how my dad was doing. And, and he told me about this, this honor, this induction that they wanted to do for me. And it was, it was one of the most special things that, that I could do. And it, in a time that was real rough for me. And, excuse me, I'll never forget as my dad was laying there unresponsive in the hospital and I shared this with him. And I knew that he wouldn't be here this day, but I know that he's watching above and that's what makes it all worth it. So thank you all very much. Appreciate everything you guys do for the university and go Ospreys.